money. For our daily needs, we purchase goods from the market. We need money to pay to the shopkeepers in exchange for the goods. In the Indian currency, we have coins and notes. This is a 10 paise coin. This is a 20 paise coin. This is a 25 paise coin. This is a 50 paise coin. This is a 1 rupee coin. This is a 2 rupee coin. This is a 5 rupee coin. This is a 1 rupee note. This is a 2 rupee note. This is a 5 rupee note. This is a 10 rupee note. This is a 20 rupee note. This is a 50 rupee note. This is a 100 rupee note. This is a 500 rupee note. This is a 1000 rupee note. Expressing money in words. This is written in figures as rupees 10 and in words as rupees 10. This is written in figures as rupees 50.25 and in words as rupees 50 and paise 25 only. Expressing money in figures. We use the symbol RS for rupees and P for paise. Thus 85 rupees and 85 paise is written as rupees 85.85 paise. When paise has to be written separately, we write it as 0 0.85 paise. Here, 0 denotes that there is no rupee. Conversion of rupee into paise. We know that 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise. So, to convert rupees into paise, we multiply the amount in rupees by 100. For example, 5 rupees is equal to 5 into 100 paise which is equal to 500 paise. 15 rupees is equal to 15 into 100 paise which is equal to 1500 paise. 100 rupees is equal to 100 into 100 paise which is equal to 10,000 paise. Conversion of rupee and paise into paise. See an example. Rupees 10.75 is equal to rupees 10 and 75 paise, which is equal to 10 into 100 plus 75, which is equal to 1000 plus 75, which is equal to 1075. If rupees and paise are written in figures as 10.75, then, to convert the whole into paise, simply remove the point. Conversion of paise into rupee See an example. 1150 paise is equal to rupees 11.50 or 11 rupees and 50 paise. If a paise has to be converted into rupees, Simply put a dot before the second digit from the right. Addition of money Simpler method of addition Example Add 45 rupees 50 paise and 30 rupees 25 paise Solution Arrange the amounts in columns Add once 0 plus 5 is equal to 5. Add tens. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. Add hundreds. 5 plus 0 is equal to 5.
five. Add thousands. Four plus three is equal to seven. We get the answer as seven thousand five hundred and seventy-five. Put the point in the same column as in the given amounts. We get seventy-five point seven five. Hence, the given sum is rupees seventy-five and paisa seventy-five. Addition by conversion. Example: Add thirty-three rupees and twenty-five paise, and forty-four rupees and forty paise. Step one: Convert the amounts into paise. That is, multiply by hundred. Thirty-three point two five into hundred is equal to three thousand three hundred and twenty-five. And forty-four point four zero into hundred is equal to four thousand four hundred and forty. Step two: Arrange the amounts in column. Step three: Add the ones column. Five plus zero is equal to five. Add the tens column. Two plus four is equal to six. Add the hundreds column. Three. Plus four is equal to seven. Add thousands column. Three plus four is equal to seven. The answer we get is seven thousand seven hundred and sixty-five. Step four: Convert the sum into rupees and paise. That is, by dividing the number seven thousand seven hundred and sixty-five by hundred, we get. Seventy-seven rupees sixty-five paise. Let us do a word problem in addition of money. Mr. Mohan purchased tomatoes for twelve rupees and seventy paise, onions for fifteen rupees and fifty paise, potatoes for nine rupees and fifty paise, and brinjals for five rupees and twenty-five paise. How much money did he totally spend on vegetables? Solution. Cost of tomatoes twelve rupees seventy paise. Cost of onions fifteen rupees fifty paise. Cost of potatoes nine rupees fifty paise. Cost of brinjals five rupees twenty five paise. Arrange the amounts in column. Add ones column. Zero plus zero plus zero plus five is equal to five. Add tens column. Seven plus five plus five plus two is equal to nineteen. Write nine in the tens column and carry over one to the hundreds column. Now add hundreds. One plus two plus five plus nine plus five is equal to twenty-two. Write two in the hundreds column and carry over two to the thousands column. Add the thousands column. Two plus one plus one is equal to four. Put the point in the same column of the answer. We get rupees forty-two and ninety-nine paise. Total amount is equal to forty-two rupees ninety-five paise. Hence, Mr. Mohan had spent forty-two rupees ninety-five paise for vegetables. Subtraction of money. Simpler method of subtraction. Example: Subtract thirteen rupees forty-five paise from sixty-five rupees sixty-five paise. Solution: Step one: Arrange the amounts in columns. Step two: Subtract the numbers as we regularly do in subtraction. Subtract once. Five minus five is equal to zero. Subtract tens column. Six minus four is equal to two. Subtract hundreds column. Five minus three is equal to two. Subtract thousands column. Six minus one is equal to five. Step three. Write the difference below. Rupees sixty-five, sixty-five paise. Rupees thirteen, 
45 paise rupees 52 20 paise hence the difference between the given amounts is 52 rupees 20 paise subtraction by conversion example subtract 24 rupees 20 paise from 56 rupees 40 paise solution step 1 convert them into paise to convert we should multiply by 100 24.20 into 100 is equal to 2420 and 56.40 into 100 is equal to 5640 step 2 arrange them in columns step 3 subtract once 0 minus 0 is equal to 0 subtract tens 4 minus 2 is equal to 2 subtract hundreds 6 minus 4 is equal to 2 subtract thousands 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 we get 3220 step 4 put a dot in the difference amount in the dots column we get 32.20 as the answer let us do a word problem in subtraction of money example miss rita's total salary is rupees 5000 she spent rupees 1500 for rent 500 for provision and 250 for milk what is the balance amount she has in hand solution miss rita's total salary is rupees 5000 amount spent for rent is rupees 500 balance on hand is rupees 4500 amount spent for provision is rupees 500 balance on hand is rupees 4000 amount spent for milk is rupees 250 balance in hand is rupees 3750 hence the balance amount with miss rita is rupees 3750 multiplication of money multiplication of money is similar to multiplication of ordinary numbers The only thing which you will have to remember is to put the point at the proper place to separate rupees and paise. Let us see an example. Multiply 7 rupees 25 paise by 4. Multiply 4 with the number in the ones column. 4 into 5 is equal to 20. Write 0 below the ones column. and carry over 2 to the tens column multiply 4 with a number in the tens column 4 into 2 is equal to 8 add the carry over number 2 to the product we get 10 write 0 below the tens column and carry over 1 to the hundreds column now 4 with the number in the hundreds column 4 into 7 is equal to 28 add the carry over number 1 to the product we get 29 write 9 below the hundreds column and 2 in the thousands column the answer we get is 2900 now put the point at the proper place The answer is rupees twenty nine. That is rupees twenty nine and paise none. Word problem for multiplication of money. Example: 
the cost of 1 liter of milk is 10 rupees what is the cost of 5 liters of milk cost of 1 liter is equal to rupees 10 cost of 5 liters is equal to 10 into 5 which is equal to 50 rupees multiply the ones column 5 into 0 which is equal to 0 write 0 in the ones column multiply the tens column 5 into 0 is equal to 0 write 0 in the tens column multiply the hundreds column 5 into 0 is equal to 0 write 0 in the hundreds column multiply the thousands column 5 into 1 is equal to 5 write 5 below the thousands column we get 5000 now put the point before the tens position as in the problem the total cost of 5 liters of milk is rupees 50 